we got ourselves two Pokemon stacking tins as well as the Grafaya EX box. Let's see if we can pull any bangers in today's video. Stay tuned and let's find out. All right, everyone, welcome back to a brand new video. Hopefully you guys are having a wonderful day as always. And we got ourselves again to start off. We got two stacking tins. I really like these like stacking tins. They're pretty cool artwork, especially with this Gengar. And we got that Espeon, so pretty cool for the metal one. Yeah, it's not too bad, but I do like that we got Scizor over here. Pretty cool Pokemon. And then we just got like Melton, I think Cuffhunt or whatever. And Tinkaton or Tinkatuff, whatever that Pokemon's name is. But we're going to just go ahead and just cut through this plastic. And we're just going to go ahead and start taking a look at ripping into this. I think it does come with like, it comes with three Pokemon packs. And it should come with stickers as well, if I'm not mistaken. But um, I think that's pretty much it. But yeah, I think it should be identical for some reason. I thought this was Evolving Skies. I was like, whoa, once I saw this on the screen on my OBS. But we got ourselves Scarlet Base and we got two Obsidian Flames. And again, the packs should be the same because these are like the same uh, pack or same, same tins that like released together. But pretty cool looking stickers. Espeons are pretty cool evolution in my opinion we got two obsidian flames and we got another scarlet violet base we got ourselves a graphite ex box if i can fit this in but we're just going to try to open this guy up probably just open it up this way and i guess we're back to jumbo cards actually because there is a jumbo card here we're going to slide this bad boy open got a jumbo cards promo cards and one of those promo cards are put this football over here but one of these promo cards is a where's that pokemon at <laughs> it just came along with us oops all right there you go just a mess everywhere but we got ourselves a grafia ex pokemon don't know where this pokemon even came from it's a shrewdle i mean it looks pretty cool but i don't know much about this pokemon i never even knew this pokemon existed but again coke up for you guys Tag yourself some on the online TCG. And then I think that should just give you like this whole EX Pokemon cards. And it definitely won't give you jumbo cards, but that would be pretty cool if you can collect that online. But we got ourselves another jumbo card. Yeah, nothing too special. But the pack selection we got, we got two Temporal Forces, which is nice. We got Paradox Rift and we got another Scarlet Violet base. Again, it's quite strange in my personal opinion that they just don't come included with Paldean evolve but we got ourselves total of what is this we got 10 packs if i'm not mistaken i'm just gonna bring this all around uh, let's see if we can pull some bangers again we got two stacking tins we'll open up the stacking tins first and let's see if we can pull pull any bangers i guess from the scarlet and violet base i would i would not mind pulling a miriam another miriam i keep saying that but outside of miriam i think a crydon or a Maridon as well, all for it. So because again, pretty cool looking artwork. My brother actually, he opened one earlier, a stacking tin, and he pulled the Garbo. Whoa, what is that? Dude, that's actually on my card. Bruh. You guys see that? It's on the hit. That is actually on the hip. Oh my god. Please don't be it. Don't be it on this pack. Much as I want first pack magic, please no. We got Pue Coco, we got Tropius, as if... Come on, Pokemon. What is up with that? That's unfortunate. EXP share. I would be pretty torn if... Okay, it's just a hollow. It's a cloth hollow, but... Yeah, that's actually... Like... Part of it just came off. I guess it got stuck onto the pack or something like that. I threw the pack somewhere over there, but... That's unfortunate. I mean, unfortunate, but I am happy that we actually didn't pull a hit on that pack. But well, hopefully this stacking tin doesn't have the same situation coming up. That would be really sucky, but oh, cold card for you guys again. Make sure you share that around. Let's guess that energy just for the sake of it. Let's go fire. Oh, another psychic psychic back to back. We got Flittle. Can we pull some bangers here? We got some Viper. We got Honda. Have you guys open up these like uh, stacking tins? Personally for me, I didn't know exactly what to open. And then I ended up feeling like, I feel like I should have opened something, of course. I didn't know exactly what. After that, oh, this pack feels weird. But after opening up those uh, Iono, <laughs> those Iono mail cards, I again, I'm happy about the promo cards. Really rough on the pulls, but hopefully, hopefully we can pull some bangers here. And I don't know. I don't know exactly what else I'm very interested in opening right now. But if you guys want something like perhaps to suggest, 
let me know down below in the comment section as well and maybe maybe one of those are enticing i know i saw a comment actually about a i think it was lost origin actually booster box that would be pretty fire actually boss origin is one of my favorite personal uh sword and shield sets that pokemon go again i would always say those two together but those two are like one of my two favorites and i definitely i'm close to like completing the matches at four lost origin it would be pretty cool to i don't know just keep opening and just see if we can pull all the three remaining cards we got ourselves a Han stone ex to put us on the board for our first hit awesome awesome i've never seen this ex pokemon actually before but nice to know it exists but again let me know down below maybe there's other stuff that you guys want to see me do even in video wise uh outside of openings maybe you can suggest as well just let me know down below i'm open to like listening to your suggestions and maybe one of them tickles the pickle maybe not the pickle but anyways you know what might seem interesting for me to go ahead and take a look at trying we got thunderous hollow unfortunately we got nothing else but we got one more obsidian flames and again this is actually quite a fast opening i should slow it down but again i didn't know exactly what else to like find i was like looking at like multiple card stores i didn't know what else to open part of me actually felt like crown zenith that actually is a fun set to open and just so many artworks in that set probably should be opening up that a little bit more but we got palafin hollow so far we strike down on the two stacking tins but we did get this one han stone ex i'm assuming every hit it's remaining in this Grafia EX box. Again, that Grafia EX box, I mean, the pack that it comes with, not too bad. I feel like the only thing I would have wanted to change was the pack we're opening right now, which is, again, Scarlet Violet Base. I feel like, if anything, it could have either tossed another Paradox or, honestly, even an Obsidian Flames, I guess. As much as I don't like that set too much, it's Charizard or Bust. Um... Oh, but we did get a gold Coridon EX to put us on the board with a Hollow Professor. All right, take a look at that. Actually, we got a Coridon EX gold card. I, it's not the altar, but again, I'll still take it. It's a nice blinged out gold, 24 karat Coridon. Just kidding. What's with that corner? Actually, for a second, I thought there was something going on on that corner. Kind of, I guess. I don't know if you guys could see it properly, but it looks a little yeah. It's Pokemon's quality control, but again, still a nice card to have. Definitely gonna add that into like my trading binder. Um, can we pull? Can we keep pulling? I told you this Grafia EX box might have all the hits. We got uh, ourselves a Paradox Rift. I can even open up this pack. This pack is like sealed shut. Oh my god, what is up with the packs? Some of them were loose. This one's like extremely tight. Let's see if we can pull. Roaring Moon Altar, or especially that again, I really want that Altaria. That would be pretty cool. If I do pull that, oh man, that would be pretty nice. It reminds me so much of like the Aerodactyl from Lost Origin, and again, that artwork is pretty nice. Ooh, we got ourselves a Brute Bonnet actually, Illustrator. Again, it's packing the hits here, and we got ourselves look at that Brute Bonnet just trying to camouflage away. Oh my god, this Pokemon. This Pokemon's toxic with its toxic powder ability, but again. Honestly, I'm happy now that we're starting to pick up the hits. We got two Temporal Forces, the latest set of the Scarlet Violet era. And I think the other set's coming out very soon, actually. I think it might be June, if I'm not mistaken. Hopefully it's not June and maybe July, just so again, at least it's a little separated a little further. Just because, again, I feel like that's have been just releasing left and right by Pokemon. But, yeah, which isn't too much of a bad thing, but it'd be nice if they, like... Did release announcements afterwards and i think we might hit a gold card actually i think i see gold don't mean to spoil it but we might strike gold we did oh and we got another iron leaves ex gold card we did pull this actually i think in the second previous video second last second most recent video second video second most recent video i think that's the right way to say it i think that's where it pulled pull from but Again, we got iron leaf we got two gold cards actually we got two gold ex's take a look at like first like scarlet and violet base how their gold cards look compared to this that's pretty cool actually i really like the way this gold looks but i don't know also if it's because of a uh, being like a future pokemon and then like the future and ancient maybe they have like a different background i could be 
entirely wrong, but that might be it. But ooh, only if we pull the Iron Crown back, that would have been really nice. But again, I'll take Iron Leaves. Pretty cool Pokemon. I really like its ability. But it'd be nice to have a Iron Crowns, actually. I think I only pulled like one regular basic EX from it. But we got ourselves a zoom roll. We're ending our last pack for today's video. Felt very quick. But hopefully we pull it some sort of banger. Maybe another back-to-back -back gold. That would be pretty ridiculous. Unfortunately, we did not. And we're finishing off with a hollow melt metal and that's a wrap of today's video hopefully you guys enjoyed today's opening if you guys did definitely again hit the subscribe button down over here as well as consider watching more openings with one of these two videos and for now have a wonderful day keep ripping and see you guys in the next video peace